Hello YouTube, this is Goody, and welcome to the third episode in the Q&A summary, where I'm going to be going over all of the questions that got answered in this week's Old School Developer Q&A Livestream. Let's get straight into things with a very short section of PvP. One user asked about Dragon Claws, and the Jmods never really said whether or not they're a possibility, but Modreach said that he made a version of Dragon Claws on his test account for the lols. I'd say it's safe to assume that they really aren't on the Old School team's list. That's the only question for this section, but one thing to note is that in Thursday's update, Jagex did make it so your PvP opponent now always appears on top of where they're stood. That's PvP out of the way, now straight into PvM. One player asked, are there specific dates on when the fun bosses return? The fun bosses being King Snagwater and the High Priest. Mod Matt K responded by saying there isn't anything planned, but something will happen with goblins in the summer because goblins are cool. Can we get Fremenic Sea Boots 4 to note Dagonoff bones and hides? As stated in last week's Q&A, these will be released with the achievement diaries if they get enough support from the players. One user asked, how long until Corporal Beast? Mod Alfred explained that he's still learning how to rig and animate the Corporal Beast, so it will be a fair amount of time until he's done, and while he doesn't have an exact date, he estimated another month or two until he's completed the model and animation. One thing mentioned later on in the stream by Mod Reach is that Spirit Shields will likely not be released with Corp after receiving negative feedback from the players. Could the Ring of Wealth provide extra drops? Modreach said that an update of the ring is doable and definitely worth it. One player asked, what about a stab bonus on the Warrior Ring? Modash responded by saying that it is something they would like to do, and added that it may be possible to, instead of buffing the Warrior Ring, add a new ring dropped by one of the recently released Wilderness bosses. Mod John C said that it could be on the next poll. One user asked, can you extend monster HP above 255? Modreach said that they can't currently, but changing it so they could would be fairly trivial to do. Can we get a Dragon Warhammer? Mod Alfred responded by saying that it could potentially be a drop from a new monster, then him and Mod Reach briefly mentioned animate dragons. Mod Reach went on to say that they really should complete the dragon set at some point. One player asked about a Guthix God Wars boss, and the response from the old school team is that Guthix doesn't fight as he is a god of balance. That's everything for the PVM section, on to skilling. Skill Specs asks, Max Cape? Mod John C seemed confused about Skill Specs' obsession with the Max Cape as he's only about 1400 total. He said that if skill specs maxes, he'll do a max cape. Do you guys have any plans of hosting a skilling competition? The team were all in agreement that it's something that they would like to do, but they didn't have anything specific in mind. Mod Matt K mentioned that it may take place during the summer. Can you please fix it so that players cannot stand on the fire in the rogue's den? Mod John C said that he would put it on his list and that it would be polled. One player asked, can we get kingly imps? The Scepter and Crown from Kingly Imps will be introduced with the Clue Scroll expansion that is currently being polled, and the expansion is currently passing comfortably. Modric said that they would like to do an expansion of Hunter, which would likely be barehanded catching. Mod John C said that he would like to remove Hunter, likely because he isn't man enough to get it past level 83. One user asked, can we get a furnace in Edgeville for the Varrock Achievement Diary? Mod Ash said yes, and added that they would fix the issue of there being a queue at the door to enter the furnace room. One unfortunate player asked, can I get my level 2 defense rolled back to level 1? Modreach said that the tools required to roll back individual accounts don't work with old school, and he added that it's a fairly hefty engine update in order to make it possible. He doesn't expect to get that kind of support anytime soon, but he did say that they're making efforts to make it more difficult to accidentally level your defense. When will the player design contest open for the new skill? Mod Matt K responded by saying tomorrow, which if you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded is today, and for anyone else in the future, it's May 9th. One player asked about the possibility of unlockable Slayer tasks for the Wilderness, and the old school team said that they're cautious about forcing players to go into the Wilderness for a Slayer assignment, however if it's unlockable then they don't see any issue. One player asked what about the ability to lock skills and stop gaining experience. The team responded by saying that the issue with this idea is that they would have to figure out whether or not locking skills would allow players to complete quests and avoid the rewards. A potential issue with this is pures being able to access areas that they wouldn't have previously been able to access, for example Apatol after completing the quest. Allowing pures to access Apatol without gaining defense experience previously didn't pass the poll, so if they were to release locking experience gains, they would have to think long and hard about workarounds for that kind of issue. That's everything for skilling, so now straight onto minigames. When will a poll for Halos be released? The simple answer from the team was whenever we get around to doing them. One player asked, is a matchmaking system for Clan Wars possible? And Mod Ash said that he doesn't feel that it's something that would be possible with the way that clans currently work. One user asked, can we get Stealing Creation? And Mod Ash explained that it may be preferable to suggest something similar to Stealing Creation, but not ask for an exact copy. He said that no matter how much time they dedicate to developing a copy, it still wouldn't feel the same due to obvious differences between Old School and the other version of the game. 
That's all for minigames, now onto miscellaneous. With the new area coming, what are the possibility of world events like we saw in RS3? Modash responded by saying, if that's what everyone wanted, we could do our best to deliver it. It doesn't seem very old school though. One player asked, what do you guys think about a dark kit that makes third age armor dark? Mod John C said that he thinks third age is rare enough as it is. We'd have to make the kits just as rare and instead we could just give you a new third age set. However, it's not on the list at the minute as there weren't many requests for it. ML Goody asks if we can get afros back. Mod John C responded by saying that an afro that you can select the color of is on the clue scroll reward list. One player asked, are there any plans to remove random events? Mod John C would love to remove random events and says that they may be in a position where it is a possibility. Mod Ash added that they need to make sure that there is a way to get all of the reward items so that they don't accidentally discontinue anything. One player asked, what drew you into playing 07 originally? Mod John C said that it was the challenge and the game being difficult to complete, as well as the nostalgia and being able to revisit old areas. Mod Alfred said that he wanted a pure, and Mod Reach said that it was because the EOC was an inside job and he was the first account ever in old school. Can you give us an update on the botting situation? Mod Matt K responded by saying that at the moment they can't, but it's going really, really well, and they will talk more in the not too distant future about botting and stuff. One player asked, can the Darkbow get a tentacle upgrade? The JMods didn't feel as if the Darkbow needed to be any stronger, but Mod John C did say that he could give it a tentacle upgrade that would make it look more tentacly, but not change anything in terms of stats. Any news on the trading fix? The old school team said that they've gathered player feedback and understand what's important to the players when dealing with a trading fix. However, they are yet to discuss how that will play into possible solutions and they also need to discuss with the engine team what would be possible and whether or not their solution would be something that is realistic. OneRackK added that the trading fix will be polled sometime in June. One user said, free to play or will riot? And Monash responded by saying that there will be more discussion on free to play in the coming weeks when there are more things in place. The general response from the JMods on pretty much every Q&A livestream in recent memory is that the free to play will become a possibility once the botting problem is sufficiently dealt with. They know that we want it and they're definitely working towards it. One player asked what about the game filter and Modash explained that it isn't a small job and despite them having the engine support for it, it really wasn't possible to fit it in around Clue Scrolls and Clan Wars. He promised that it will be polled and will come with time. Once again, a player asked, the teabag emote, or when is it happening? Mod John C said, it's not, but Mod Reach seemed fairly adamant that it will be. Mod Alfred said that he would play around with it, and Mod John C responded by saying that no, he wouldn't. From that point, the stream slowly devolved into something of a lover's tiff between Mod John C and Mod Reach about the teabag emote, and Mod Alfred just sort of sat innocently in silence, seemingly trying to avoid picking sides. One player asked, can we get more bank space? Mod Ash explained that now bank tabs are out, it allows them to figure out the limits of bank space with the update in place. He said to expect more bank space in the near future. What is the cause of the dropping player numbers? Modreach explained that the player base is stable at around 160,000 people subscribed to old school, and he went on to explain that the recent dip in players online is likely down to seasonal trends and people spending more time studying for exams. He added that those players will likely return to playing more regularly once the current school term ends. Can the F keys be changed? Modash explained that changing the F keys to how they are in pre-EOC did not pass the poll last year. However, he did say that it would be possible to allow players to choose custom F keys if the idea got enough support. One player asked, will the graphics on Old School ever be updated? Modric said that a graphics update for Old School is something that they have always considered to be completely off the table. Can we get an update on the new continent? Modric has just finished the first travel option to get to the new continent, as well as the first means of getting onto the new continent. Right now, his goal is to get a rough sample of the continent created to give the players an idea of whether or not it's something that they would want. He went into a fair amount more detail during the livestream at around 37 minutes in, so if you guys want more information, make sure to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. Can we be allowed to have more than one of the god capes or god books at a time? The team said that they see no issue with that idea. One player asked if the team could take out the wilderness ditch, and none of the JMods seemed to have any issue with it being removed, however the removal of the ditch did previously not pass the poll. Will there be any new quests in Old School RuneScape? The team responded by saying that in a player priority survey, quests were one of the least popular options. The quests The Path of Glowfree and The Land of the Goblins are possible, as they were mostly finished by 2007. One player asked if the JMods could make the looting bag work outside of the wilderness, but they didn't seem to approve of this suggestion, saying that it would just be like having a pack yak with you. And finally, one player asked, can we get the Explorer's Ring from the Achievement Diaries? And Molash said that he expects the Explorer's Ring to be one of the rewards, as they were fairly popular. 
And that's everything for this week's Q&A summary. If you guys want to check out the full Q&A, there'll be a link in the description. And generally what I do with these is I take the question and I try to keep the information that I put in this video as very relevant to the question that was asked. So there is extra information that is left out of these videos that isn't necessarily directly relevant to the question. You guys can find out by watching the full live stream. I would definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for future Q&A summaries, and that is about it. Thank you guys for watching.